So I'll be showing you how to add another Google account to your Google TV streamer. So if you want more than one Google account to have different profiles, so all you have to do is from the homepage, just go to the top left corner on your profile picture and then scroll down and select add an account. And then that's going to bring you to this accounts page. So what you want to do is scroll to the right and select add account. And then now you can follow along to add an account. So you can either add an account for an adult or add a kid's account. So let's go ahead and add an account for an adult. So select add account. And then if you want to, you can scan the code to add your Google account from your phone, or you can scroll down and say sign in on TV instead. This is a longer process, of course, because you're typing with your remote. But then of course, you can always come here and select add uh, your Google account by scanning this QR code. So to do this, just go to your phone, launch the camera and scan that QR code. And then tap on the link that appears there. And then you can see it's attempting to connect to TV. And then I'll tap on continue as myself. If there's any authentication required, give it. And as you can see, it's currently signing me into the TV. It's a very simple process. There you go, simple as that. Tap on done and it should be good to go. So we have the terms of service as usual. Now go back to your remote and use it to accept these Google services and terms of service. Then you can set up your different apps. You can activate voice match if you want to. You can get personalized results. I can turn that on and then again, choose your services. and go to the right and confirm. And that's it. So now we have added a different Google account to this Google TV streamer. Now you can switch between the different accounts by just going to the top left corner, uh, selecting that, and then you can switch from one account to another simply by going to the other account and reloading the other account. Okay. Now, if you want to, it's going to, it might prompt you to reorder your apps. Basically, it's still giving you instructions on how to use your TV. I'm just going to dismiss that for now. And as you can see, I'm now logged into the other account. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and even subscribe for more tips. And I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.